Yeah. And ask God for forgiveness. You don't understand. I, I just to say, I didn't tell God I wanted to be no monk. I didn't tell him I wanted to be celibate either. You know, God wouldn't have created a woman if he didn't think man needed a helpmate. <laughs> Reverend, that is not my point. I'm not saying that you've got to be alone. But you know as well as I do in 1 Corinthians, the 7th chapter and the ninth verse. You see, Reverend, it plainly tells us that if you cannot contain yourself, it is better to marry than to burn. So, Reverend, if you know that you need somebody to satisfy those sexual desires that you have, I suggest that you pick out one of those women that's been chasing you all around that church and get mad. <laughs> Why should I do that? I need time to play the field. You know, God's giving me some choices, and I'm just checking them out. <laughs> uh -uh. Wait a minute, Reverend. You leave God out of this mess. You see, God ain't got nothing to do with your sin. What God is doing, God is being patient with you. But you better get yourself together. Who are you to come in my house and tell me God is being patient with me? You act like God sent you in here to deal with me. I don't know, Reverend. Maybe he did. But it is one thing that I do know. That God will use anybody to do his work. And you see, Reverend, right now God is telling me to tell you that you need to change your wicked ways. You see, Reverend, God don't need a hypocrite, hypocrite down here. No, a hypocrite. He don't need a hypocrite down here trying to lead his people. Matter of fact, it's in Matthew, the 23rd chapter and the 15th verse. It says, woe to you hypocrites. You see, Reverend, right now, the devil is what's working on you. Flee, devil. Get out of one of God's servants in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't need you to preach to me. I'm a holy man myself. And I'm tired of this phone. Come on, Holy Ghost. Oh, 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 preacher. Well, if you're going to use God's Bible, use it to help somebody else instead of always helping yourself. If you're going to use God's Bible, use it the way that God wanted it to be used. Use it to heal the sick. Save a lost soul somewhere. Bring a wandering child back home. Preach
Yeah.